I don't want to be seen in a male gaze anymore. I don't want to exist in a man's world. Le regard masculin a été associé à un regard neutre pendant très longtemps parce que la, la majorité des films, l'immense majorité des films est un produit est produit par des hommes oui. qui regardent des femmes. Et c'est juste pour dire en fait cette, ce regard a une origine et a aussi un rapport avec euh, avec euh, la domination masculine. I feel very uncomfortable now trying to portray the male gaze. I'm not interested in that in that view. I'm not interested in doing that. And I'd just rather not stand in front of a group of men naked. My shift in spectatorship came very suddenly and specifically out of the influence of the women's movement. So that films that I'd loved, films that had moved me, I was suddenly watching with different eyes. The voyeurism, the place of the um, male star protagonist in fighting off being the object of the gaze and creating the energy of the story, the woman as spectacle, it was somehow all there. I dread reading scripts that have no women involved in their creation because inevitably I get to that part where the girl turns to the guy and she goes, what do we do now? Now, do you know any woman in any crisis situation <laughs> who has... <laughs> any woman in any crisis who has absolutely no idea what to do. It molds your mind when you're growing up and you're only seeing things from a male point of view. And I think that our culture would do better to have more respect for the female perspective. I think hashtag me too has focused the discussion on the object of the gaze, particularly how like casual representations of sexual violence against women in film and television, for example. I think the conversation now is less about like who's the bearer of the look on a technical level. In other words, how we're being positioned by the camera as spectators. And it's become more about just how women need greater access within the industry, access to power, to opportunity, to material resources as filmmakers, cinematographers, producers. The female gaze implies a centering of female looks, but also of female stories, of women's lives and experiences in general. We want to tell stories that reflect our lives back at us. And many, many, many women watch television and many, many women go to the movies, um, sometimes more than men. And so we want to see those stories. We want to see ourselves. <laughs> <laughs>